Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to Ama to get some dinner with Young One because it was her birthday last week. And then I'm going to the Banksy exhibit. Apparently they have 80 original works there. It's supposed to be pretty good. I even got the, the headset that tells you exactly what's going on. Ticket and audio guide. So it's gonna be an eventful evening. Oh shoot, no wait, it's this way. Where are you? I'm like five minutes away. Five minutes? You're late, young one. You're late. Man, I didn't realize you come here like every day. Ooh, audio guide. Press the number, and you can hear. It. You can hear it. Yeah. Ambitious stunts have always been a mainstay of Banksy's career. A common thread we hope you will notice throughout the exhibition is that the bigger Banksy became, the more plausible it was for him to turn his ideas into reality. The work was originally executed in Bristol on a metal shutter. In recent years, there has been a large amount of press surrounding the unauthorized removal and subsequent sale of Banksy's street works from public places. This is something that Steve Lazaridis vehemently disagrees with. Yeah, um, I'm vehemently opposed to works being removed from the street. Um, the artists, Banksy or any of the other artists who are having their works removed, made those works for to make the city a brighter place and they were a gift to the population of that city. They weren't designed to be given to one person to hang in a penthouse. I would like to wholeheartedly thank you for listening to the audio guide. I hope you've enjoyed the additional material and that it has given you a little bit of insight into the art of Brexit. Yeah. How do you like the exhibit? It was so cool. I thought it was great. The audio guide was great. Yeah. People like Brian wouldn't understand. Nope. About any of the work without the audio guide. I know. Okay. Happy birthday. Police are looking for a thief who took a piece of artwork from a new exhibit in Toronto. How did a thief get away with a precious Banksy print taken from this West End Toronto warehouse days before it was to go on display? Banksy art piece stolen from exhibit in Toronto. Anyone with info to ID suspect and recover the artwork, please contact 11 Division Toronto Police. I had no idea about this. You know why I had no idea about this? Because I saw the artwork. It's right there. We can confirm today that a piece of art went missing during the setup of the Art of Banksy exhibition. Surveillance video shows someone sneaking into the exhibit space early Sunday, approaching a wall of Banksy prints, and then moments later scurrying away with one. But I feel like this was a publicity stunt. There's no, there's no way someone walked in, stole a $45,000 piece of artwork, and just left. The print is called Trolley Hunter and is worth approximately $45,000 Canadian. Maybe it's Banksy itself, the thief. This guy spelled Banksy completely wrong. Did they not have security? It's true. It doesn't make any sense. The, the exhibit was good. I enjoyed myself. The audio guide was perfect. I got to know a little bit more about the history of Banksy. And that's all that matters. This work was included in the Seminole Museum exhibition, Art in the Streets, at MoCA, LA, 2011. All of the window panels were graffitied by school children from the local public schools. 